The Jeopardy round. Here are your categories. First off, the continent. Legs. Good doggy. Beverages. Crossword clues, tea. And finally... G-Squad. Okay, Donna. Yeah, started, you are at 4,700 in second place, and we have one category. The Geek Squad. Where do we start? 200. If you really want to pwn noobs, we'll connect this gaming system, which is the only one that uses Bluetooth and Blu-ray technologies. Debbie. What is PlayStation 3? Yes. Geek Squad for 400. An EVGO card gives you anywhere broadband internet access via a cell phone provider that uses 3G technology. 3G stands for this. Donna. What's third generation? You got it. Six. If you lose your broadband connection, one of the problems might be this device that can allow wireless connection to other devices or the internet. Donna. What's a router? Router, yes. 800? If your home can't be wired with Ethernet or use wireless devices, we can install this type of technology, allowing networking using your traditional electrical outlets. It's called power line networking. And now the $1,000 clue. Let's go back to the Geek Squad. Today, it's easy connecting devices by using USB. Older computers use two types of ports, parallel and this one. Dino? What is serial? Serial, good. $1,000 for you, moving you back into second place. Debbie, you're going to go first in Double Jeopardy. All three of you off to an excellent start. Can't wait for Double Jeopardy. Stay with us. It's believed that the gaming term pwn originates from an accidental misspelling. Dominating a player is known as owning them. A game designer programmed the word PWN for OWN. The term stuck. Pwning noobs now refers to the total domination of new players.